Hey guys, we've been asking the same question for the past few months. Who is the leader of the once and always crew? Well, we wanted to kind of add to that and we're wondering, will there be an actual mentor for this season or will the leader kind of serve both roles as a mentor and a leader? This team does have a bunch of experience. We're gonna talk about it, break it down, hit that intro. This Power Rangers team, for once and always, has years and years of experience, but none of them have ever been the number one leader ranger for a season. So with that being said, we want to ask the question, who do you guys think will be the leader of this season? Or will it be kind of like a group effort? And will we see an actual mentor for this season, either a new one or a returning mentor to help lead this team of Rangers? So the first thing that comes to all of our minds is we see Alpha back. And the biggest question I think the fans have asked is, well, what about Zordon? We got a Robo Rito. We got Lord Zed returning. Could Zordon return? Now, I do think it's a possibility. However, I don't think it is going to happen. Just deep down, I think they're going to talk about Zordon, but I don't think they're actually going to bring him back. Maybe they could like talk to his spirit or something through the morphing grid. Maybe there's a way that they can connect to Zordon, but I don't think he just fully comes back. Now, with that being said, a part of me thinks that this team could have no mentor similar to what they did in Power Rangers in space. They did have assistance from Alpha and Decca, and Andros was the leader, but TJ did do a lot of the tactical planning because he was a former leader. Now, what are the chances that they are leaving out a few characters that are returning? Now, the one name that makes a lot of sense, and we have been talking about this for a while, what are the chances that we could see Anubis Kruger? Doggy Kruger, could this guy show up I think it makes a lot of sense. In 2025, Power Rangers SPD takes place and Adam and Aisha were wearing SPA shirts. What does that fully mean? The other theory that I think just makes a lot of sense is Billy is the leader, but he's also the mentor because he has served as a mentor before. Yes, he never was a number one leader. Is this Billy's opportunity to use him as an all around leader slash mentor? It's very interesting what they are going to do with this team. A few other ideas is what about Mick Canick? Now, Mick Canick has been in the Power Rangers universe for years at this point, right? What if he comes in and assists the Rangers? That would be kind of goofy, but at the same time, it makes a lot of sense. Who would you like to see return? A few fans in the comments wanted to see TJ return, and that would make a lot of sense because we talked about him, how he was really good at planning out the attacks. TJ was involved in a lot of crazy Power Ranger moments, and it would be awesome to see him come back but a ranger I would love to see come back and kind of be a leader, even though he would be a lot younger than everybody. Probably not going to happen. But Devin Daniels, when we're talking about tactical geniuses, he's the next upcoming one. He's already the commander after like one year of just killing it as a red ranger. Yes, that would be fun. Is that going to happen? Probably not, honestly. I don't see Devin Daniels coming back for the special, but if I could pick anybody to come over, it'd be Devin Daniels or 
Zato. <laughs> That'd be so dope. What if Billy's like, hey, I'll do you a favor if you do me a favor and the Dino Fury Rangers come in for 30 seconds. Now that's probably not gonna happen. I'm just kind of joking with you. This is a fan theory video and we have a lot of fun with it. And now here is the part of the show where I wanna hear from the fans and see what you guys are saying. Johnny said, I'm so excited for once and always and the return of Billy. And I have high hopes for the special and the potential for where this special could go. I totally agree, Johnny. This guy right here loves supporting the brand and be like Johnny right now. He's optimistic, he's got good vibes, he's not negative, and if the show sucks and he doesn't like it, he has every right to voice his opinion. But leading up to it, he's psyched, man, and that's what we're doing over here. We're trying to hype you guys up and I know there's a lot of people in the comments saying that this is gonna suck or Simon Bennon is ruining Power Rangers and all this crazy shit, but dude, they're doing a good job. I would not be covering this every day if they weren't doing a good job. If I was fed up with this brand, I'd be jumping ship and trying to get into something else, honestly. I love covering this brand, and what I love more is this fan base. And if you really know and connect with this fan base, it's a really cool family. Ooh, what did Byron say? I think Billy is the most likely choice, but I'm not going to lie. I think it would be so cool to see Adam Park as a mentor. Yes, could Adam and Aisha be the mentors? I guess I didn't even touch about that, so thank you for bringing that up, Byron. What are the chances that the mentors are just Adam and Aisha, even though they've never fully been leaders either? This will just be a group collective. Billy will be the leader. And then you've got other mentors and people to help out. And they're really going to be helping men. The rest of the Rangers know how to be Power Rangers. They've seen it all at this point. It's really about leading and mentoring men. Christopher said, it feels right that Billy should be the leader as he's been the longest out of the original five Rangers and more able to be strategic slash a leader type. I actually agree. Everaldo said, I also believe Billy is from the pictures. He's always in the middle of them all, even when they're morphing. It's awesome because Billy deserves it. Finally, I don't understand why after all of these years, the guys behind Power Rangers didn't put Rocky as a leader for the first time. I understand why he wasn't at the same time, but this is a missed opportunity. That is a very good point. At no time was Rocky really the leader, and this would have been a really cool opportunity for him to be the leader. But at the same time, Billy has been a part of Power Rangers for longer. He was the original Blue, and he was also a mentor for Zeo. He went off to Aquatar to chill with the Alien Rangers. I bet this guy knows a lot of stuff, and I bet if he is the leader, there is a reason why and you can make a case for Billy but at the same time it would be cool to see Rocky as a leader Dave said I think Billy is gonna be the leader but they're also going to have to explain why Kimberly and Jason is not there even if it's like a two second clip or something I totally agree Sean agrees he says it makes sense for Billy to be the leader if Tommy and Jason aren't in the team because he has the most experience, even though he's only been one type of ranger. I agree. And even in Zeo, he was helping the rangers in other ways. Joseph said, I cannot wait to see once and always. I've seen every single ranger season except for Operation Overdrive and Jungle Theory. Which one should I see? Now, hear me out, Joseph. I'm not going to tell you what to do, and some people might disagree with me, but I'm a huge fan of Jungle Theory. Fury. That season was tight, man. I actually liked that one a lot. And I watched that one years later. I didn't watch it when it first came out. I think I was like 17 or 18 at the time when it came out. I was too cool for Power Rangers. Once I watched that, I was like, dude, I was missing out. This thing was banging. Now, Operation Overdrive has some cool episodes. 
They have the 15th anniversary special, I believe, and that was banging. It had Adam, it had some Disney Rangers. It was a lot of fun. I like the Indiana Jones concept to it. I wish they would have dived into that a little bit more, but I was a huge fan of the concept of the show. But what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. I just wanna take a second and shout out the fans. Thank you guys so much for holding it down, for taking the time out of your day and watching this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Thomas Franco, Tim Rage, The Voiceless One, and Let's Talk Sports. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you want shout outs at the end of my videos like this one, sign up to be a member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.